hello and welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we'll be looking at how this our simple report template works i'll be taking us through an overview of what the template looks like now when you open your template this is the interface you'll be presented with um, here is the data page and here you're expected to enter the names of the students in this um, clickable area you're also expected to enter the names of the subjects in this horizontal clickable area as well now this piece the below here is the area where you enter in the scores the ca scores and the exam scores as obtained by the students or pupils in the next page we have the report page here is where you actually print out your report what you're expected to do is to um, click on the drop down list here and the names of the students that you have um, established for that class will appear here you can easily pick each name to view their report card as it will be generated per, per, per student now once you are ready to print out your report after checking that everything is in order you can select the print range from which you want to print and click the print pdf button right here to, to select the range you type in the numbers if you want to print the entire report you can leave it empty and click on print pdf and then the entire report will be printed the next page is the images page this is where you enter or upload the images of the students or pupils in the class so let's let's look at um, some other areas by the time you scroll to the right of the data page You have the area where you enter the attendance, the class teacher's comments, the head teacher's comments, and of course the admission number, if any. They all appear at the report page as we have seen here. So that is what we populated in the in this region of the report card. Also of course you're expected to enter the class data the term there's a clicking button and you can pick the um, appropriate term enter the session year the class for which this uh, report template is being used the number of days scored open next resumption date the, the date the term opened and the, the date the term closed all these are useful information on the reports page as you can see here so um, i think we have gone through most of the major areas of the template now this area allows you to save um this calls from different terms of course this the way this template was designed is only it's designed to only accept um scores that are for one term only so you can only use it to enter data for first term only for second term you have to wipe the scores data for first term and enter afresh the new scores data for second term and then for third term you also wipe out the data the scores data for second term and then enter the new data for third term however at the reports page is an area that requires that you enter um, the total score and number of students for each of the previous term so that is where this area comes into play it allows us to after before we um, delete wipe off the each term rep, um, sc report scores it allows us to save those scores in this region within the template just the total score and then the number of subjects offered so that it will be used for the reports page so once you have wiped it out the major uh, scores we require will be stored here and then you can use the template for other terms so that's what this area does so we are going to be looking at that much later so in order to get started let's me see if we can do a sample template for us here um, let's say we are starting with first term and the session is 2022-2023 session 
something like that. Let's use a 50 shots class SS2. Number of times school open, let's say 212. The next time school resumed. Uh, okay, school resumption date. Let's say for next time 01 23. Assuming the term open date, as let's say it started on the 12th of September 22 and then ends 12th of December 22. So that's how you fill in the data for this area. So this is okay, you can save your work. And remember, when you're saving your work, you have to save the, temp the particular templates to reflect the class which we are you are working with so if I head back to here we can start typing in the subject as like so and I can continue with that and you can start typing in names of the students in the class like so so what I'm going to do let me quickly populate this um, sheets and uh, I will get back to us hello I'm back all right um, so I've taken my time to populate this um, template with um, 35 students and then 16 subjects I've also entered in the attendance for each class teachers comment, head teachers comment and, uh, and so forth. So this really, this is complete in this area. So we head down to the report page and see what it looks like here. So once I populated the list, I can see that the result has appeared. So if you are okay with what you see here, you can actually decide to print the entire class report by clicking on the PDF button here and then leaving this empty. If you want to click, if you want to print the results for a particular student, you can just easily identify the row number. Let's say I want to print the results for row number four and that's um, for Kelvin so I can just once I click on the print button uh, Kelvin's report will be generated so this is how this works then you will notice that um, this area this region has not uh, reported any number that's for the cumulative average area so what we can do let's go back to data page so like I said for this is for first term now, for us to use this same template for the next time, we have to save this data for first time in, within the template. So to do that, you have to select from here, go to save, and then click on score action. You need to do this before you change the term. That's good. Yeah. So this has already been saved within the system, but for it to appear on the report page, it needs to be here. So what we do is after saving, we click on populate to populate this course and you click on scroll action again so I have seen that it populates my template so right now if you want to print it with this uh, that's the first time report you have you're going to have the first time report uh, generated the first time temp, um, total generated here so after this is done you can now change the term and wipe off the result. You can clear the data. This will be available for you. So you can wipe clear the data. So the entire data for first term has been wiped away. So you can now change the term and save as a new term. So like before, I'm going to enter some new 
scores for second term and then we'll continue as before so let's adjust the adjustable parameter let's say the school opened 240 times fictitious of course and the next time school resumed And the next time screen resume, let's assume screen resume, let's assume 04, 23. School opened, of course, 7, 1, 23. And school closed 7, 4, 23. Okay. Let's assume these data are correct. So I'm going to. So yeah, welcome back. I've generated new. I've entered new um, scores for the second term data, and this is what we have. So if we go back to the reports page, the second term has been updated. So this is Kelvin's result again, which is different from the previous. Of course we can update what appears here as we did before first we save and then next we update so once we go back to the report page that's for second time is available so you can now generate this report for the particular class in question and for the particular term the same happens for third term since we've already saved the uh, scores we can update and wipe off the scores for the second for second term we'll go to third term update this let's say screw this on 20 times Next school resumption date, let's say it was um, 9 9. 23. Assuming that's correct, school opened on the 24th. And school closed 7 of 7. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off the data for the previous term. So this data is wiped off. What I can do is to, so I'm going to take my time to uh, enter the scores for the new term. So give me a moment. Okay, here I've written, I've completed entering the data score data for the other term okay there's something i didn't mention here you can actually update the overall score ca scores you can change that and it's going to be updated it also updates on the report page as the overall score so that you can also do that before you start entering your scores all right, so we've generated this report, and of course, as with before, we can save and populate. So this has been populated. By the time I get back to my report page, of course, we're in third term, and then Kevin's results are updated for the third term. And as you can see that the three, the three times they have, she has different scores, total and averages. And then the cumulative average for the entire session is 9.48. You can as well go ahead and print in these results. You can print for one person or for everyone by leaving this empty. Let me just print um, with the 35 and print result number 35.
So the report has been printed and that's for Abiri Libya. So if I go over to look for that report on my desktop. So that's Lydia's report. And that's the report that was generated. You can see how we're looking at the report. Is. So that's how this template works. I hope this helps and thank you for watching.